I just got back from getting a randomized COVID test for AMDA. They choose one person from every cohort to get randomly tested every week in order to minimize COVID stuff. I had a class this morning and right now, I'm ha I have this um, section of class that's supposed to be all online. That's um, it's called PA2 instead of PA1. So if I ever talk about that, that's just so you know. And I messed up the quiz because one of the diagrams wouldn't load, and you can't resubmit the quiz after you do it. So because of that, I'm going to write down my actual answers on this notebook, <laughs> um, and send it to him in a private message so hopefully I can like redeem myself and my points because I literally thought that we were supposed to, it's like matching the letter to the articulator but I didn't know the options for like what the letters were pointing at or whatever. I thought that we had to sound out the letters that he was giving us and figure out what articulators we were using in order to get the letter. <laughs> um. So that being said, I like, wrote on the quiz because it, it, it usually has like one or two essays at the end or essays. I wrote on that and then I sent him a private message but I'm going to reply to that private message that I sent him with a screenshot of like what the actual answers are. So I'm just gonna do that right now. Um, I'll time lapse it. I'm gonna angle the camera down so that you can see what I'm doing. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully that works. This week has already been a week, if you can tell. Like, it's already Wednesday, but it feels like it's a Friday, A, and B, it's been a rough week so far because on Monday, I had VPS, the other version, which is the live class. There was this thing where some of us didn't receive the assignment a notification, but we were supposed to complete an assignment over the weekend. And then we got like a lecture about it, so we were all kind of like down in the dumps about it. And then Yesterday, we were in acting. We're doing etudes, which is basically excerpts from scripts. We are trying to like get really good at memorizing the lines the way that they are on the page. No abbreviations, no contractions when there aren't any, that kind of stuff. And a lot of us were getting that wrong. And so a lot of us got disheartened about that. Now it's a little bit better, but like just like the quiz situation that I just went through was um, rough. So I just feel like it's not my week. Personally, I'm trying not to let it get the best of me, but we'll see how the rest of the week goes in terms of classes Right now I need to edit because I haven't been able to get the vlog up Kicking off vlogmas and I know I need to so I'm gonna do that But most of the editing in its core is done. I just need to add like the little like animation type stuff and the intro and an outro and stuff like that and music so um, I'm gonna try and get that up in the next 30-ish minutes before sight singing. I also need to make sure that I did my sight singing homework, so you might see some of that as well in this time lapse. Um, yeah, I'll keep you updated and I'll see you soon. He's making dinner, cause he's a good boyfriend. Love you. Um, what you say? Uh, you're not the only one that knows how to cook. I know how to cook too. Okay, I know how to cook, okay guys? I promise. I'll cook on this vlog. I will. Okay. Hi everybody. I am leaving to go to my tap class right now, but I'm going to be going shopping. I don't know where my camera isn't focusing on my face. That's cute. But I'm going to be going shopping afterwards, so I'll bring you along with to that. And then I have to do some work and practice dance. So um, I'll see you after my dance class. Cool, bye. Hi everybody, it's me, I'm back. I have to do this assignment and record it. The assignment is these arpeggios and arpeggios, if you don't know music and you don't know how to read music, it's basically chords, if you know what chords are, and uh, you break up the chords so that it's do, me, sol, me, do. So if you sing the sale, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. And you go, do, mi, so, do, so, mi, do. I'm only doing do, mi, so, mi, do. And then changing the major and minor notes. And the tricky part about this is that I'm gonna be a musical nerd right now. Solfege is 
the words do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And for minor and augmented diminished scales, there's different types of solfege for that. So instead of so, you can do C, uh, S, I. Instead of fa, you can do fi, re, ra. But yeah, instead of doing all of those, I have to just do do, mi, sol, mi, do and continually do it even if I'm not singing me or soul. Because <laughs> um, it's a different note, but it's apparently I have to do the same soul pitch. So it's fine. I'm learning to do it, but I have a tendency to say me instead of me because that's the minor chord. I don't know if this is interesting to anybody. <laughs> if it is, that's cool. If it's not, that's okay too. And oh, I'll show you my setup real quick. Just in case you were wondering. Basically what I do, well, my my desk isn't set up yet fully, but that's my vision board right back there. And this is my ring light, and then it has this little holder thing for my phone. You have to take the phone out of the case, but I use this for TikTok, so you could just go into TikTok and create your whatever, which is really nice. Or you can go into things and then you see me, and that's cute. But yeah, there was a really cute dog and I really want a dog and that's it. Hello, so I am back from the store and I wanted to do this unboxing of the waffle iron. Um, it's right here. And it comes with a measuring cup, the waffle iron, and the a non-stick whisk. Here's the measuring cup. It's pretty self-standard. Instructions, always good to keep around. This is the whisk. Ooh, it's a good quality. It's black and silver. I hate that this wastes so much plastic. So this is the waffle iron. Um, it has like this like, so this is like the dial for it. Um, and the light tells you when the power is on and when it's ready. The inside basically looks like a standard waffle iron. And the best part about this one is that you can rotate it. So let's try this out. That's so much fun. I could do that all day. I don't want to break it, okay. The reason why you flip things in the waffle iron is because you're, it's supposed to cook more even that way. Because obviously when you put waffle iron mix in, it sinks to the bottom of the thing. So if you flip it 180 degrees, then it's cooking on the other bottom. So both sides are golden brown instead of one side is kind of undercooked and one side is overcooked. This $59 um, at Bed Bath & Beyond. All in all, I would say this is a very good purchase because again, we make breakfast food relatively often and it's relatively cheap um, for an appliance. So I feel like that's great, but they're smaller waffles. So if you guys have any recommendations for big waffles, put them down in the comments, or if you have any other suggestions for people that are watching this video, just let me know. Got tortillas, chips ahoy, popcorn, jalapeno Pringles. This was an Eric pick. He also got this root beer. Soy sauce is a must. Got syrup, I wanted to try this brand. Almond milk, also a must have. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm dairy sensitive. Uh, it's not necessarily a surefire thing because I can't eat cheese most of the time. Eric doesn't like it though. He likes lactate instead, which is fine. I think lactate's fine. I just like almond milk. That's my particular preference. Comment down below lactate or almond milk. And Eric also got Nesquik. I'm not a huge fan of Nesquik. 
quick, but that's just me. Got Tostito scoops sometimes instead of burritos, just to change it up. I like making like this nacho type thing. We got bread. We've been, we've been liking the country white, but if you guys have any suggestions for bread, um, we love some because this this is just kind of like normal and. Um, we don't really love it so if anybody has any suggestions for bread down below let me know we got some pretzels because they didn't have pita chips and i want some for my sour hummus these looked super good so i'm gonna try them they're the watermelon outshine fruit bars um they're supposed to be like healthier for you than normal popsicles and i'm not really one for popsicles because i feel like they're very sugary and i'm I don't usually like very frozen things. Like I like ice cream, but I like it when it's like a little bit melty. These looked very good. So maybe my body is craving fruit for some reason. Maybe I'm just craving vitamin C. It is winter. Eric got a lot of cookies. We got saltines because saltines are just a staple to have in your house. I'm gonna put it all this way and then we're gonna start cooking. Hi everyone, it is Saturday currently and we are going to be going out to Michael's and then we might be going out to Home Depot as well. We're gonna go to Michael's because we need, we're going to be planning on decorating the apartment. Right now we have minimal decorations. I'll show you them when I get back. Hopefully we'll find more while we're out there and then we're gonna be setting them up either tonight or tomorrow night. Hello, this is Editing Jackie coming in to say a note about what we did at Michael's and what we haven't done in the apartment. So basically what happened is that we went to Michael's and as you'll see, we got a bunch of stuff and as you'll see in the second week of vlog, we got called away to Chicago early. So I am currently right here and it is Vlogmas week three. But that being said, week one, we got all of these decorations that we didn't end up putting up because I had planned on putting them up this week during midterms, but we didn't do that because we got on a flight back during the weekend. Saturday at 6 a.m. to be very specific. Yeah, I just wanted to come in and say that all of these decorations will not be going up. And they are wintery-esque, so we might be putting them up when we get back, but I don't know. Keep you guys updated. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the vlog, and thank you for watching this far. Hello, so I grabbed a cart, and it looks like this right now. Uh, we have some, I brought, bought a hot glue gun and some glue sticks. Um, we have this dish. There's some garland and some pine cones. Honestly, I was looking at the wreaths and they're really expensive. So I was considering making my own. Yeah, so if we make our own wreath, maybe we'll wrap that, one of the garlands around the wreath and maybe cut it 
to size and then maybe um, along with the garland we'll get like a couple of these like branch things maybe some roses um, or like one of those flowers and there's some like holiday stuff like right over there so I guess what I'm saying is I'm gonna pick out some stuff and hopefully it'll be good and I'll let you know when we're back home but right now I'm deciding whether or not we're gonna be what we're gonna be making a wreath with okay and I'm vlogging in public and it's really weird, but here we are. Hello, so we're on our way to go get dinner at Great Burrito. It's this hole in the wall place on 23rd Street and it has really good tacos. And since we're all the way down here and we usually aren't, I figure, um, well, it's like one of Eric's favorite places to get burritos. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go in and get some. Hi everybody, so I am back. I actually just filmed a TikTok. I'll put it up on the screen right here. Um, but I wanted to show you my haul for Michaels because I'm going to be doing a DIY project, maybe in this vlog, maybe in the next vlog for a wreath that I wanted to do. So I wanted to show you what I got for that wreath and then a couple other things that we got for Christmas decorations and whatnot. So first off, we got like these branch type things um, for the wreath, two of these and one of these. I think overall the colors look really nice together, or at least I think so. That'll be a good project and we'll see how good it I am at making a wreath because I've never done it before. I got this embroidery hoop because this is what some people use to make it and I think it's better than styrofoam a for the environment but also because styrofoam gets everywhere and it's really messy and I don't really like using it in any craft project. Then we also got two types of wrapping paper. It was buy one get one free. So I got just like a uh, foresty green and this one's like shiny. I don't know if you can see how shiny it is but it's like iridescent with the stars on it. And I like I like Christmas, don't get me wrong, but I like, again, like I'm not like super festive, like I've always been one to not really celebrate Christmas until after Thanksgiving, and ergo I haven't really, and my family tends to overdo Christmas a lot, not, I don't know, to each their own, and not that that's a bad thing, because everybody deserves festivities, but yeah, Eric got this for I think his side of the room, but I feel like we can use it anywhere. Then he also got this like little owl thing, which I think is super cute. I got another pack of pine cones. Oh, they smell like cinnamon, which is good, but like it's a lot of cinnamon. Um, we also got like three packs of this garland. I also got this bowl. It says warmest wishes, and then it has like a little Santa. We've been using this key bowl right here because it's been like fall-esque, and I love fall. Fall is my favorite season, and obviously we'll be keeping this, but I decided we could uh, replace that with this, even though it's a little bit tinier. I feel like we don't necessarily need a huge key bowl because I'm the only one that really uses it. It's just nice to keep everything confined. I basically just got some logistics stuff as well. I got this twine fire line, but it's like a bead thread. I got this hot glue gun and these Gorilla Glue. And then I just got this pack of chalk. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I'll be vlogging a little bit tomorrow and you'll see me then. Hello everybody, this is Editing Jackie coming in. I took some clips of our night last night, me and Eric, because yesterday was our anniversary. And so we went out to Rockefeller Center and we also went to Home Depot, but I didn't get any clips of Home Depot. Yeah, I just wanted to show you some clips and insert that here. I'm so excited to celebrate this Christmas time with you guys and I'm definitely getting into the holiday spirit, which is the whole point. I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll see you next week for Vlogmas week two. Bye.